everyone. So today we are doing another beauty box subscription and this is actually my first BoxyCharm subscription in about two and a half years I would say. I used to be subscribed to BoxyCharm for I think I was subscribed for about two years and they started raising their prices. I think they got taken over by Ipsy and I was just kind of like you know I always knew that maybe I would want to come back to BoxyCharm in a few years but I just kind of got overwhelmed with a lot of the products and on a whim I just decided to kind of try it out again and just kind of see what it's like now. If you'd like to sign up for BoxyCharm, you can use my referral link below. You get a discount and I get a kickback as well. So if you would like to support me and sign up for BoxyCharm, definitely check out my referral link below. So this is my March BoxyCharm box and I'm gonna share with you guys everything in my box. So first things first, I'm tired of people bitching about me talking about products and not getting to the point. So for those of you that have TikTok brain and your attention span doesn't go past 30 seconds, this section is for you. Elemis Peptide Eye Recovery cream, Miss Fame blush palette duo, Wander Beauty Trailblazer palette, Laura Mercier caviar stick in rose thorn, Ace Beauty liquid glitter shadow in Stella Dusk, and Riddle perfume roller in the scent Voyeur. All right, so that is everything in my box. Now, if you actually want to know anything of value other than that, definitely keep watching. But for those of you that that's all you wanted, I'll see you later. There we go, that's out of the way. So everyone who has still decided to stick around, let's actually talk about the products. Okay, so starting off, one thing that's different, they have like a little uh, pamphlet in here that typically what they used to do is they'd send out like a little card that would have all the information on all of the products that were in your box, the prices, where you can get it, things like that. So instead of that, now they just kind of send out this like little pamphlet type thing and you have to actually scan the QR code to see what's in your box. Not gonna lie, I don't really care for that very much because I just like to have all the information on hand. So this just kind of like tells you a little bit of like, I don't even know if it's really the theme of the month, if they still do themes. Tells you a little bit, a few of like the guaranteed products that are in your box and then, you know, they're just doing like advertising for some of the other things. So I'm not gonna lie, I kind of find these little pamphlets not as helpful as the little cards they used to give out and I get that they've probably got so many variations at this point that they can't possibly print up everything but not gonna lie though kind of feel like it's a little bit of a cop-out but I did end up going and looking up all of my products myself finding the prices of them and calculating the value of my box so now actually getting into the product so like I said the very first product that I got was a skincare product this is from the brand Elemis this is a brand that I did have a lot of products from before from BoxyCharm in the past when I was signed up with it. A lot of products I liked, some products I didn't really care for, but overall a pretty high-end brand I would say. So the price of this is actually $49. I would say that is a pretty up there type of product. So I love that I didn't have to pay that much for it, but I'm definitely intrigued to see if this gives me any noticeable benefits. So this is the Peptide Eye Recovery Cream. So I have not tried this product yet. I do have a lot of things that I am trying to work up first, but this one does have um, something that I'm kind of intrigued about because because it says that it is supposed to help eliminate dark shadows and puffiness, which I used to not really have dark under eye circles when I was younger. I don't know if it's age, I don't know if it's stress or just life now, but I definitely do have a bit of darker under eyes now and I'm always kind of trying to find something to either counteract that. It seems like no matter how much sleep I get, how much water I drink, it just doesn't matter and I think it just is what it is. So I don't really know if there's anything that will kind of decrease the under eye circles that I have but hey I will definitely be trying this out in the future and it probably can't hurt right so the next product that I have I can't remember if this is a product I chose or if this was one of like the guaranteed items I can't remember I will definitely have to go back on my BoxyCharm account and look those up to see what I picked there's a couple things I know that I did pick and received and there is one item that I picked that I did not get so they must have either run out of that and then did a replacement item so I will try to put that on screen so you guys can know what I chose honestly I kind of can't remember because I do have a few beauty subscriptions coming at the moment so my choices are kind of jumbled up in my brain. So this is from the brand Miss Fame I believe. I have never heard of this brand before but I really like the packaging of this. So this is called the Blush Series Palette 1. I don't know if there's more color options of this or not but this is what the palette looks like. It is a duo product so we have a cream blush on this side and a powder blush over here. The price of this one is $24. 
and I actually am really liking this product. Let's quickly cut to the application so you can know a little bit more of my thoughts on this product. So starting off with the cream, ooh, this one is definitely pigmented. It's a little bit more of a deeper color than what I would typically go for, but once you kind of blend it out, I'm sure it's gonna look just fine. Yeah, it, it definitely has a lot of color at first, but once you start to blend it, like look how that sheared out. So I'm not worried color-wise for this one. So I'll do another swatch of the full color right here on the bottom. So that is it just kind of like really heavily applied and this is it kind of blended out. Let's do the powder blush as well. Like I said, this one is a little bit of a softer kind of color. So you could either do these two together or just kind of top it off or wear them separately. This one does have a little bit more of like a goldeny peach kind of color. It has a little bit of like, I would call it like a satiny type finish. It's not completely matte, but it's definitely not super shimmery either. So satin is definitely how I would describe the powder blush. All right, so those are the colors. Let's go ahead and apply them. I think I'm just gonna kind of like rub my finger in here and just do like little taps of it on my cheek here. And then this is like the type of brush I love to use for applying any type of cream blush. I find that it just blends it very easily and doesn't take much effort at all. This one is from Luxie. It is the 532 Round Top Blender. You could use it for foundation. You could use it for cream blush. Just takes like absolutely no time at all to blend it in. All right, so this is how it is applied pretty blended out I would say I could definitely build it up if I'm wanting more of an intense type of color so here is the side with nothing and here is the side with the blush let's just do a teeny tiny bit little building up if you really kind of want some color going on all right and so that is how it looks with it built up just a little bit more I would definitely say this is a pretty forgiving type of cream blush. Some of them are just so pigmented. You do like one little dab and you've got to work to blend it out. These I feel like are super, super easy to apply and blend out. I feel like you don't have to be very careful with it. And now just for fun, let's do the powder blush on top. So I like to use a different type of blush brush for a powder blush. So I'm just going to use this brush. This is an old, old brush. I have probably had this for like 15 years. I think I got this from Target. It was a Sonia Kashuk brush and it was part of like a coral reef collection. So that's why the handle looks a little bizarre. But you guys, this, this brush has been going strong for, like I said, 15 years. All right. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this over the top. I definitely think most of the color is coming from the cream blush that I applied, but this does kind of just add a little bit more of like satiny kind of sheen to the skin. So overall, I actually was really liking this product. I think it's so compact. It's easy to bring along with you. You've got two different textures of blush to try out. So overall, I really like this one. I think I will continue using it in the future. All right, moving on to the next product. This is an eye product. This is from Laura Mercier, and this is one of their caviar stick eye color is what they call it and mine is in the color rose thorn and this retails for $32 so let's get into the application let me show you what I think of this so this is what the caviar stick looks like it's just kind of like a um, eye pencil or eye cream it's not one of those like jumbo jumbo ones and it's definitely not like an eyeliner size so it's a nice little in between so again here is what the color looks like let's do a quick swatch on my hand just so I can get an idea of like the depth of the color and how it blends so if I do one little swipe this is what the color Color looks like it's actually quite dark let's do another swipe and see if we can blend it out okay so this is what it looks like kind of sheared out a bit definitely not too dark if I were to apply it like super heavy we could get like a really dark smoky kind of grungy look and there are also some like super tiny micro fine shimmer in here it's kind of like a burgundy goldy kind of color so I think we're gonna start this off as the base of the eye look we're gonna just give it a go so I'm gonna start by just applying it to the lid here and I think I'm going to blend this out with my finger. Okay, so this is how it looks applied, like pretty much to the sheerest that I could get it. I will do a little bit more to see how it builds up. But if you do want to wear this like super like bare wash of color, you can get it about to that sheerness where it just kind of gives just a little bit of a whisper of a color. And then of course this, I just have my eye primer on. So let's see if we can kind of build this up just a little bit more. I typically don't do like these types of like color placements, like more of this, a smoky kind of style. I just feel like they don't really suit my eye shape very well but we're gonna try something different today and try all these products I don't know if it's just something about the shade of the color or what but I'm not loving this it's kind of like giving me more of like a bruised eye kind of look which is not really my favorite type of look 
but we're just gonna go with it today. I'm also trying to see like how full on can I get this color to be if I wanted to wear it like super pigmented, but I do also still need to kind of like blend this out so it doesn't look messy. And whenever I blend it, it does take away a lot of the color. So honestly for this product, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if it's the formula I don't like or if it's just the color I don't like. I definitely found that with trying to blend and build it up, I just felt like most of the color was kind of going away and it wasn't really giving me quite a look that I was loving. Like I said, that could be the color. I just wasn't feeling this and for being like $32, I absolutely would not be purchasing this with my own money. It's cool that I got to try it out, but I don't really see this as a product that I love using. I will try to give it a few more goes and see if there is a way to work it into my makeup routine that would use it up, but I'm just not loving this, you guys. So unfortunately, I think this is definitely a pass product for me. Maybe my mom will enjoy it though. I will definitely see if she wants to give it a go. Next up, we have a palette. So that was one thing I really did like about BoxyCharm was kind of getting like a really good palette every month. And I'm not gonna lie, it did add up quickly, but I have gotten to try so many fun eyeshadow palettes. And this one, I have to say, I am very impressed with. So this is from Wander Beauty and this is called the Trail Blazer Palette. And this palette retails for $42. It looks like this. Overall, I would say it's like a pretty like warm neutrally kind of palette but then it's got these really fun green colors here on the end and I was actually very pleasantly surprised with this one I'm gonna show you guys how I got this look today so let's get into the application so I'm gonna start with this color here it is called Mandy it is like a warm chocolatey kind of rusty brown matte color we're gonna pick up just a little bit of that onto my brush and I'm gonna start applying that to the crease I really like how this shadow is applying it is very easy to blend. Then with the darkest matte brown color here, this one is called Elizabeth. I'm going to take this to define the crease just a little bit. I do find that these shadows are a little bit more on the powdery side, so definitely be careful when you're tapping into the eyeshadow. It's very easy to kind of kick up a lot of fallout, so tap your brushes off too. I really like that one. That one really kind of packed a bit of a punch there. Then taking that same matte brown just on a smaller pencil brush, I'm going to run this on the lower lash line, keeping that more towards the outer half of my lash line. Then using just a touch of this cream matte color here, this one is called Jen. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this to kind of clean up the under the brow and to kind of blend that dark shadow just a little bit more on the edges. All right, next for the shimmer, I am dying to use this color here. It's kind of like a pinky mauve type of shimmer shadow. I think this is gonna look really nicely with the next product we're gonna use. So I am going to apply this to my lid. I'm going to try with a brush first and then I'm gonna see how it looks with my finger to apply it. All right, so let's see how it looks with the brush. This definitely seems like it might be more of like a creamy type formula. It's not a cream shadow, I don't believe, but the texture of it is just kind of more on the softer emollient kind of side. So this is how that color McKenzie looks applied with a brush. I think it looks okay, but I think it will probably look better with my fingers. So let's try that out. So let's apply it with my finger on this side. Oh my God, look at the difference. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a foily, foily type of shadow. I don't know if you can see the difference there, but like, holy moly, look at that. Yes, I definitely think this is a shadow best applied with the finger. You just get so much more color payoff. You get a lot more of that shine. It almost looks like a wet metallic type of eyeshadow. So I would definitely apply this with the finger. And I don't know if you can tell what I mean, like how it's a little bit more of like a crumbly, soft kind of texture. You can kind of see what it looks like when I applied it with my brush. I will apply just a little bit to my lower lash line, but I am gonna do this with the brush. I just can't get into that small area with my finger as nicely as I can with a brush. This one is called Alex, and it is kind of like a soft, buttery champagne kind of color. I feel like this is just gonna be like the perfect inner corner highlight. And again, since this is like more of a targeted area. I want to use a brush for this, but this just looks like the perfect kind of color for that. Let me just do like some quick swatches so you guys can see these green colors because I'm really loving this. Wow, that green is very pigmented. I'm, I'm impressed by these green colors. Look at those. I love these type of olivey green kind of colors. I'm dying to try this. I'm just dying. Again, super buttery. This one is called Divya. I think that's how you say that. D-I-V-Y-A. This one here is called Lindsay P. And then this one here is called Maddie. Oh my gosh, these are all so pretty colors. I love this palette. And I'm not gonna lie, 
I don't think it's a palette I would have necessarily like picked up myself even though I love those greens and I'm super drawn to them but I feel like this has a really nice kind of color balance to it a good amount of shimmer to matte kind of mixture too and those swatches were kind of phenomenal so I really like this palette I thought it was really fun I can go more of like a neutrally kind of more natural look and I can do like some really fun kind of out there with the greens I love doing a green eyeshadow every once in a while so I am actually really stoked on this palette and I can't wait to try it again. Next up is the Ace Beauty Liquid Glitter Shadow and this one is in the color Stella Dusk. I do believe this is a product that I picked out and honestly I really really like this product. I feel like these are so pretty. They're one of my favorite like makeup product type ever and this one is no exception it's just as beautiful just as like bold i have this type of product from a million different brands but this one is really good too and this one retails for 24 dollars. so let me show you how i applied it today they do have a little like doe foot applicator but i just like to kind of keep these clean and i find that for me i prefer to apply these types of shadows with a flat shader synthetic type of brush and then i just like to paint a little bit onto that brush number one one, it keeps this a little bit cleaner because I do already have shadow on my eyes and I find that this just gives me a really more easy to control type of application. I just like to pat it onto the lid where I want some little extra sparkle and shimmer. And I also find that this gives me a little bit more of a thinner application which makes this dry better and not crack or crumble on my lid which I hate when that happens. So this is just a foolproof application method for me and it has worked for every Every cream glitter shadow I have ever tried there has not been one that it hasn't worked for okay so this is the eye with the glitter applied it might not be as noticeable just because that foily color underneath was just so intense to begin with but in person I can definitely see the little extra sparkle on here and I like to do more of a padding type of motion rather than a swiping that way I am not disrupting the shadow underneath let me do a quick swatch on my hand so you can see just the product on its own okay so this is how it looks before I blend it out so you can see there's definitely a little bit of color to there there is some base color but it's not as solid as it looks on the eye with having that shadow underneath they also dry pretty quickly as well so that is another thing that I love about the style of eye product because I don't like that wet sticky feeling on my eyes and this definitely does not give me that I can never get enough of these. I just love this color. I'm so glad that I got this product and I'm definitely gonna be using this again very soon. All right, and for the last product that I have here, this is from a perfume brand and I've never heard of this brand before. It's from the brand called Riddle and this is their roll-on perfume in the scent Voyeur. So this one, we're gonna do like a little live test together and this one retails for $58. So that is pretty nice because it is a very decent sized perfume for a rollerball perfume. All right, so let's try this one. I'm gonna roll it onto my wrist here and see what I think about this perfume. Ooh, I really like this one. I am definitely gonna have to look up the notes for it though. This is delicious. I like this a lot. Oh, and this is a eight milliliter roll-on size, if anyone is wondering. Okay, so this one is described as a warm, sweet, powdery scent, and it says that this one is vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. I feel like all three of those notes are definitely coming through. I, at first, I almost thought I was smelling a little bit of coconut to it, but I definitely don't think I am now that I have like those three notes in my head. All three of those notes are coming through, and I feel like there's not many perfumes where I feel like every single listed note, I feel like I can actually smell, which I definitely feel like is the case with this perfume. I'm actually really digging this perfume. I think this is like the perfect size to keep in my purse as well. And I kind of like rollerball perfumes for like on the go because I don't really like spraying it all over the place. You know, if I'm in like a public space, you know, I feel like rollerballs are just a little bit more considerate of other people. They couldn't have picked a better type of scent for me to include in my box. So I am very, very happy with this. So I'm definitely gonna have to try out some more things from Riddle in the future because so far I'm really loving the scent and I want to know what other things they offer. Okay guys, so the total value of my box this month was $229 worth of value for all of these products. I love that all of these products included are all full size. So of course with the other beauty box that I am subscribed to currently, Allure Beauty Box, sometimes the items are a sample size or a smaller size or like a deluxe sample size. I always love that BoxyCharm is full 
products and I always can appreciate that. I also can't remember off the top of my head how much my subscription was for BoxyCharm. So off the top of my head, I think it comes down to around $30 per box. Do I feel like it was $30 well spent for this box? I absolutely think it was. I was kind of hesitant whenever I signed back up for BoxyCharm because I knew, you know, every month is going to be different month to month. I felt like there were definitely months that were just amazing out of the park and then some that were a little bit less than amazing amazing, but I feel like this is a really, really good box. If I had to rank it like a letter grade, I would absolutely give this an A. Everything that I tried, I really enjoyed with the exception of the Laura Mercier eye stick. I just feel like that color isn't for me. Other than the eye cream that I haven't tried yet, I really loved everything that was in my box and I'm super happy with it. And I always try to imagine like with a subscription box trying to justify the value is like if I saw this box sitting on a shelf at the store for $30, would I buy it? And I definitely think I would. I feel like the value was there. The full size products were amazing. I liked the product selection. Of course, I did get to choose some items, which always adds to, um, I think having a more successful box when you get to pick a few items. If you'd like to sign up for BoxyCharm, you can use my referral link below. You get a discount and I get a kickback as well. So if you would like to support me and sign up for BoxyCharm, definitely check out my referral link below. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Links are below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.